Hydrogen economy is an attractive pathway to energy transition for companies trying to decarbonize. However, building the required world-scale green hydrogen or ammonia infrastructure creates multiple challenges and trade-offs. These challenges include complex infrastructure, costly hydrogen and energy storage, the variability of renewable energy sources like wind and solar, degradation of equipment, and unscheduled maintenance and revamp schedules. Other challenges include the uncertainty around pricing and demand for finished products, as well as grid sales or purchases, and the complex distribution arrangements of products and electricity. Digital technology helps companies bound this uncertainty, quantify risk, and helps ensure that their capital investments have the highest probability of delivering desired returns over the life of the asset. Aspentech developed a sophisticated and world-first approach to optimizing the designs of world-scale green energy, green hydrogen, green ammonia facilities. Leveraging Aspentech's Fidelis solution, the team constructed a detailed probabilistic end-to-end -end model from renewable energy sources through the hydrogen and ammonia production and storage all the way to distribution and sales. The Fidelis flow diagram depicts the entire holistic system and the complex interconnections and alternate flow paths and uses an optimizer to dynamically reroute flows across the site. The Fidelis model is tracking all of the flows of OPEX and CAPEX over time, including the replacement costs of degraded equipment and all flows of energy, products, and revenues across the site, as well as capturing the events that lead to loss performance. Also, all of the tank statistics are quantified so storage vessels are optimally sized. In addition, Fidelis is capturing the discrete maintenance and spares costs. These outputs provide for true lifecycle cost analysis and better decision making on all aspects of any capital project. The Fidelis model is able to provide financial outputs as well, including the levelized cost of hydrogen and ammonia, net present value, and discounted cash flows. Alternate design strategies can be investigated, like different storage sizes, different electrolyzer technologies and their yields, and the capacities of the energy and processing units, as well as different construction timing strategies. Also, traditional techno-economic analyses often done in Excel typically lack some of the capabilities in stochastic variation and flow optimization. Most importantly, the Fidelis models provide a standard for auditing and data capture to provide a platform from which numerous case studies or even new separate green hydrogen projects can be evaluated by the company's own employees. Fidelis models can also be brought online once the plan is operational to optimize decision-making in operations, maintenance, and logistics across the entire life cycle of the asset and continuously improve the asset in response to changes in the business over time. When investing tens of billions of dollars to build a world-scale green hydrogen and ammonia business, companies have to be able to quantify the financials before making the final design and investment decisions, reducing construction costs by up to 20% and reducing the levelized cost of ammonia by up to 10%. Each 1% of reduction in the levelized cost of ammonia is worth about $100 million on a $10 billion investment. The bottom line is, there is now an advanced approach to validating and optimizing the design of large greenfield or brownfield capital projects. This solution will have a positive impact on profitability.